And first and foremost, we want to give all praises and glory and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakadash. We want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for ruling well and teaching us his truth. And want to give peace and salutations to you, Akiyama, and the highways and byways, doing his work sincerely and faithfully. Um, this is the portion of GMS Boston. I'm the brother Amawan. I'm the brother Korab. And we're coming with another lesson, and we hope it be edifying through the spirit. And um, the topic or we're going to title this show is uh, up, Uprises, Riots, and Protests, protests that's, that's Erupting Around the World. That's right. And uh, we're getting into prophecy because that's, that's, the, that's a, a job of, of the prophet, you know, is to get into prophecy and prophesy and measure the time diligently within itself. That's right. And the way we measure prophecy is what? Is, 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 is by the spirit of prophecy, by the things that, the testimony, it's like, yeah, the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. That's right. And this is how we measure the time that we're in. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. right, I just want to bring this out um, before we get this video. So we're going to, um, like the brother said, we measure the time by uh, 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 the prophecies. We use the scriptures as a measuring stick, all right? Because when we when we go back to uh, um, figuring out what, what times that, the times that we're in, we, we link it up to see because the Lord told us to look out for these things, all right? But this is going in the second Ezra 9 and 1. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in, in itself, and when thou see parts of the sign pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time where, wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right, and like the brother said, you know, going back to that measuring stick, he said, you're going to see the signs, mm -hmm. all right? And and what you have taking place uh, in the world today is uh, it, the signs is, 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 is all across the news, you know? The signs is in your face, you know? Smack dab in your face. And like the scripture said, then you're going to understand, and then you're going to know that this is the time that the, the highest, the most high, Yahweh Shem Al Shah, is going to visit the earth which he made, all right? Mm -hmm. Come on. Um, continue on, it says, uh, verse 3 says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou when well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the day that were before thee, even from the beginning. All right? So, you know, just brought out that precept. So we're going to go into this video to show you a few clips. It's, it's, it, we're going to skim through because it's a 10-minute it's a video. Right. But we're going to try to skim through. And then we're going to go off a list to let you know what countries is uh, uh, going through these protests and uh, the uproars of the people. All That's right. right. Come on. This is what's taking place in Chile right now, you know, and it's saying that uh, this is declared a state of emergency. So you know, and, and, and you go notice, and that's um, this is, these are our people, you know, these is going back to the the, the Israelite, you know, what I'm saying the so-called Black, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians. And when you go to Chile, they're, they're part of the twelve tribe, all right. So this is this is going back to our people. So you can see that the condition and the state that they're in, you know, this is uh, a civil unrest. Right. You know them fighting against, uh, uh, you know the the government. You know martial law being established, and now you see right now it's saying Hong Kong. So this is also what these gooks is going through. You know Moab is going through it as well. That's All right. right. That's right. And uh, this is how you know this is this is the Lord's work, man. Because you see these this, the, this is the indicator. This is the the sign to let us know the hour that we in. And the Lord says that He's visiting the world that He made. So let's believe uh, uh, the Lord is visiting the world, that which is telling us, us Israel, those that are seeking for the Lord, that our salvation is draw nigh, you know? Right. And, and these are the things that must take place before the Lord himself arrives. Mm -hmm. And this is the time that we in, because, you know, this couple of, a couple of weeks or months, we was in the time where the chariots was appearing heavy, uh, week in and week out, in different brothers' camps and in different regions of the world. And, and the week of, the prophecy of the RFID microchip was coming into play, 
you know, and, and brothers was prophesying heavily on that because this is this is the year that our elders coined that this is the year of Karagma, and now the spirit is in the, is in the time where. The uproar, the uproars, and, and the riots and the protests of the people are erupting throughout the world. You know, so these are the sign. You really got something? Right. I want to point out Ecclesiastes the third chapter, and I'm starting at verse one. It says, mm -hmm. "To everything there is a season and a time." Rally demonstration the continue for eight right, weeks. And I'm gonna jump down to verse eight, and it says, "A time of love, of discontent, a, a time to love, and, and a time to hate, a time the of peace, goal. and a time of war." And what you have here that is clinging on to power, here, it, 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 and no, they have no used force to uh, do that. This is a time of war. All right. Day three of protests, the wars, Lebanon's the army and security that, forces are being of accused Russia, of heavy-handed tactics, of, uh, which are further border, infuriating you know, demonstrators. Up, they haven't left America, the streets, despite the, the crackdown and, and arrests. Their demands remain the same. The government should resign and early elections must follow. The response from the ruling alliance was clear. We don't want the government to resign. If it does, it will take one or two years to form a new government and the economic crisis will worsen and it will be made up of the same political forces. But that is what protesters don't want. They want change. Palpable. We're going to have wars People within behind wars, us are refusing. We are level. all gathered as and, Lebanese and because we're from in the time all of hate, the religion, the from all religions. You know, we're saying seen, one um, word. We war cannot talks, anymore. The rumors of wars. You. you see America putting Dr. sanctions Mr. and terrorists is giving them uh, upon the our EU, He's upon China, the last miles North that Korea, the and all these people. people. No more. I mean, you know, all these nations, which is all leading up. This is the beginning stages. I'm not going to change anything. These demonstrations over the last four days have been This is all the beginning of sorrow. There have been clashes at night on a few occasions. Things are demonstrated. Are you being a Herrerian sleep basis, which is a presentation to the people with a plan which is trying to get through with a very delicate coalition government, four members of whom, four ministers of whom have already resigned. That 72 hours people here are saying is frankly a joke because they've had decades of politicians, they say, acting different now. And when they 30 years on and they feel that little has changed and they need to see new faces. Go and finish the job, breaking it down, and then yes, what's going to be built up afterwards is the kingdom of heaven that is going to be given to Here ultra-nationalists are playing a game of cat and mouse with the police. They want to break the police line to make their way toward the Catalan protesters. The police push them back, but they aren't done yet. This week, Catalan protesters and anti-fascists have clashed with the police. Now that the far right have entered, there are battles everywhere. It's hard to tell which group is which. But we do know this fire was caused by Catalan protesters. Many of your leaders have said that they want to see peace. And this does not look like peace. We want peace. But this does not look like peace. This does not look like peace because they have But that's on a lower scale. How much more when... But surely this is not the right way to go about... I'm sure this is not the right way. It's just the only way we have. On the road to the capital of Catalonia. This is the region on strike, following the imprisonment of their leaders who breached Spain's constitution to push for independence. There are thousands upon thousands of people here. Some of them have been marching for over three days. They're angry and they feel aggrieved. And they're heading for the center of Barcelona. They're calling for the release of their leaders. And they want independence. These people are here because the politicians and activists who tried to declare that independence will spend between 9 and 13 years in prison. Some people say that they broke the law so they have to pay the price. Yes, but we think that the price is too high. That's what's going to be we were out on the streets of Barcelona last night. In a city famous for its ball skills, testers played games and peace. And then, when the disciples asked them, what are the signs of, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm just grabbing the word.
24 and 3. Uh -huh. um, and, and, and this is what we're telling you. We're, we're not surprised at these things because the Lord has uh, uh, blessed us with the eyes of to see these things and as well to go prophesy. This is why we're, we're not surprised. We're more happy and glad that, that this rulership is ending. Esau's rulership is about to be through. And these are the signs and the stuff that the Lord said that um, that these things must happen and before the end cometh. And, right. and, you know, so w w these are the signs that we're looking for. This is how we're measuring the prophecy and the brother's going to get it. Come on, this is Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the signs of thy coming in the end of the world? All right. And now uh -huh. before, before I go down, continue on. They, they say uh, the disciples came to him privately. So this wasn't openly. This wasn't given right, uh, to everyone. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? And it's the same thing that's happening now. Because when you tell us, when you go on the highways and the byways and you go to camp and you're pushing the, uh, pushing the words of Yahweh Hashem El Shaddai, you're giving the warning, you're prophesying. Guess what? You're going to have a lot of people that's going to continue to just go about their business. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that's mm -hmm. what I say. The, the disciple asked them privately because it was given to them. You know, just like the scripture said, it's given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them, it's not, it's not given. given. So now, when 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 shit hit the fan, these people are uh, uh, these people are going to be in a bad case. Right. All right. So continue on this. Said, and Yahweh, this is verse four. And Yahweh answered and said unto him, unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Is not that what, what is taking place today? Right. You know, as the brother was saying before the video, he said, man, these are some, we're actually living in these times. We're right. actually witnessing it with our own eyes. Right. You know what I'm saying? God, it says, um, mm -hmm. see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So he's right. telling us to not be troubled. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a, why why not to be troubled? Because we are we we have something we have we have something that's called a comforter. We have right. the words. That's right. Know? We have the words. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He gave us these warnings. He he gave us the clues. Right. You know. Right. And, and, and scripture says too. Uh, and when you read it in Revelations three and ten that. Uh, because we have kept the patience of his words, he shall keep us in the hour of temptation. That's right. And, and this is part of us being that, that faithful servant and doing what was commanded of us and seeking and trusting the Lord. Because he's the only one that could deliver us from the, the chaos and the turmoil and the, and the distress and, and, and all hell breaking loose from, from, from Esau, Edom, and the, and the whole world, man. Because the scripture says it's going to be sedition amongst men, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, um, vading one another. You want to grab it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. While you do that, let me just go right back. Go, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Matthew 24 and 7. It says, For nation shall rise against nation and mm. kingdom against kingdom. Mm -hmm. All right. And when it says nation, you got to remember it's talking about a nation of people. You know, it's talking about uh, different groups of people. All right. But it also says kingdom of king, kingdom against kingdom. Talking about different countries, different, you know what I'm saying? Uh, such as uh, you see how Putin is going against uh, Trump. You see how. Uh, 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 um, the, 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 the uh, Iran, Iran, Iran going against, going against Israel. Israel. Yeah, Israel. Mm -hmm. You know, these are the things, man. These are all taking place. And the scripture also continues to say, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And as uh, verse 8, it says, all these are the beginning of sorrow. You know, so these things has actually happened, man. Hey, Thwadi Harbash Yimel Shah, for him to reveal these things unto us because, you know, at, at the end of the day, he said, uh, you know, he said that these things is going to come to pass. He said, uh, all these things must come to pass, right. you know, and, but that's how we know that we're a step closer to the kingdom of heaven. It's right. a, step, a step closer to the Lord's return. Right. Huh. And because yeah, you read this earlier, right? I just want to elaborate, uh, just say, say a little more. Um, huh, when you read huh. Luke um, 49 and um, and. 12, Luke 12, verse 49, it says, I am come to send fire on earth, and what will I, what will I if it uh, if it be already kindled? Because, right, the Lord is going, he's bringing his judgment. He's going to bring his rebuke, and by fire, by what? By the sword, by, for, by the ICBM missiles, which is part of the Lord's troop, which is going to be launched upon America, mm -hmm. but as well as him, uh, by the ways of the chariot, shooting laser beam, mm -hmm. and as well as him, um, um, killing people, man, because right. it says the slain of the Lord shall, shall be, be many. many. Right. But he, the Lord said that if He's gonna come to bring judgment and to bring the sword and to bring the fire, 
he said that he when he reaches it when he reaches um the earth that it's gonna already be on fire. That's right. Because what of these protesters? As That's you can right. see, people are marching, people are throwing rocks, people are lighting buildings and, and, and cars on fire. You know what I'm saying? This is the real street fighter, you know? Mm -hmm. right. You know? And and this is all prophetic. This is all prophecy, and we're letting you know. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna mm -hmm. bring up this real quick. This is Isaiah 20, 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes and, mm. and great noise and with storms and tempests and the flame of devouring fire. Mm -hmm. You know, what was going on uh, uh, in California? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. What, 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 what is it called? Paradise being burned down. But it, recently there's another. In Spain. Yep. Con, right. You know, mm -hmm. you see. But not just only that. Primarily, the brother had mentioned talking about the ICBM missile. That's, right. a, that's, a, that's a form of uh, 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 the flame of devouring fire. Right. You know, these things is taking place. And like the brother said, when the Lord comes back, this place is already going to be on fire. That's right. It's already going to be in turmoil. It's already going to be go hell upon earth right. at this time, you know? Mm -hmm. And you mentioned the storms, mm -hmm. how you just visit uh, the, the Bahamas. Bahamas. I mean, here at Puerto Rico's when we just had, what, like a, a storm where like six of them had started at one time Come. recently, you know, Not the famine. Mm -hmm. In Mexico, they had hell. A hail storm in Mexico. In Mexico. You know right. what I'm saying? How, like, when you think about that, it's like, hold on. You know, it's only it's only thing that leads back to is Yahweh Bashem Shah, the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, doing their work. That's right. And it's a marvelous work, a work that no man could ever do. You know what I'm saying? Right. Not even Esau, Edom, with his technology. Right. You know. And, and this is how we know this is the presentation of the Lord, because the Lord tells us that our uh, punishment is, uh, is uh, accomplished, or daughter of uh, mm -hmm. of, of Zion. And now, the, now Esau must drink of that cup That's right. before we could put him to build our, our kingdom and uh, and put his ass into slavery and beat the shit out of them. You know the Lord is taking them down. And then first and foremost, starting with the men, which which starts with our apostles and even from Abba Bivens in the seventies. You know, but now, now the Lord is physically visiting his world That's by right. these different plagues, man. Mm -hmm. By the death, destruction, the sword. Um, famine, pestilence, earthquakes like the brothers got done reading in diverse places and things where where it, where these things were never heard of, never happening over here in Cape Cod. You know, you got uh, hurricanes and and, and and storms. You know what I'm saying? But this is all happening um, at, at the same time, simultaneously. Right. This was never heard of to happening all together. We we never seen up uproars and uprisings of the people like this, man. Yeah, come on. You know? Yeah, like you mm -hmm. said, we haven't seen uprisings of the people all happening at once. Once, you right? Have many different countries at the same time, and not just only that. You have countries that have been going through it for twenty weeks. Right. You know, damn near a whole year. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, the France, uh, it was it the Yellow Vest, the yellow vest movement? Yep. You know, and even in Hong Kong, you know, that was going. Well, they said the 26th week, 28th week. You know what I'm saying? But it's just showing you, man. We're entering the time, and pretty soon, America is, is, is being saved for last. You know, this is why the Lord is, is is getting Jake aroused, man, for what's to come for the race wars and and to, uh, and to go against your government. And then we know that martial law is going to be declared. Cause it's gonna be a civil unrest, man. Right. You know the 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 place is gonna be shut down. Matter of fact, before, before I'm just saying, let me grab it if you don't mind, bro. Yeah, bro. In Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse fourteen, it says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein." So destruction unto the world and them that that's dwelling in the latter days, mm -hmm. and we're gonna find out why. It says, "For the sword and the destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands." So you see, so this is not about peace. This is not a time of love. It says, "One people shall stand up to fight against another," which is talking about the race wars, man. You know, and, and, and with swords in their hand. You see, and so you know, when you have a sword, a sword is what is a is a killing instrument. You know. So it's gonna show you it's gonna be a lot of a lot of great slaughter and, and, and brutal death, mm -hmm. you know. And it says, and there shall be sedition among men, evading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor prince, and the course of the actions shall stand in their power. Right. You see? Yeah. And, and no, go ahead, brother. No, 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 go ahead. That's what you see when you, right. when you watch that video. You right. see the people standing up against the government, you know, and, and fighting against their government. And also there was a video uh, in Mexico that. The, they went into the, the, the what was it, city hall or wherever that building was. Mm -hmm. They grabbed the mayor right, and, and they tied, tied his up. ass up to the truck and drove off with him on the back of the, uh, dragging on the back of the truck. Mm -hmm. You know, these things is, is, is going on. And also, uh, i seen another article that's saying that these these, these cartel, these, these people, uh, um, they had to let go El Chapo's son because they was causing mayhem in the city. Mm. It was shooting out, you know, they was shooting 
and going crazy in the city. So, hey, mm-hmm. like the brother said, man, mm-hmm. these things is taking, man, this is happening. It's an effect. It's, it is it's full happening. Of, it's an effect. And guess what? And this is just, the Lord said, this is just the beginning of sorrows. That's right. Because you gotta remember, America is is is, is, is uh, the, the the power seat of, of the elites, man. Oh, the this is the belly of the beast. Like, the, ahead, the hammer of the earth, right? The I, hammer right. Of, yeah, come on. So mm-hmm. you know, that's how you know when what they say, uh, 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 save the best for last. Right. That's you exactly know? what it is, huh. you know. And you can see the direction we're heading to, man. It, the economy collapsed in all these countries. The, you know, the 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 inflation, uh, the hyperinflation. You know, the dollar's not worth nothing, and you know what I'm saying. And the the oil, the the prices are sky high, and people can't afford none of these things. You know, and this is what it is. They're protesting. They fed up. The the whole world is mad, man. The nations, the people are angry, and they're gonna fight. And that's why we're gonna continue on. It's gonna say. If, for there shall be sedition among men and evading one another, and they shall not regard their kings and no prince, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And this is why they, they're going to take matters into their own hands. They're going to go make sure they're going to get fed. They're going to make sure they're going to get whatever they need, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now, go ahead. Read, go ahead. Read, read on verse 17. Yep, yep. And it says, A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And how is that going to take place? When they mm-hmm. issue that Martial state of emergency, mm-hmm. state of emergency, which is uh, martial law. And that happened in um in um Hong Kong when they I think they shut down the airport, so they shut down uh they shut down uh in Chile and in no, too? Uh, in Chile too. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. So so that's what's taking place across the whole earth. Like once they issue that martial law. Guess what? These people can't move and maneuver and go certain places. Right. The city shut down, right. but at the same time, all because of uh, uh, going back to the point, which is the sedition among men. This is the right. uproar of the people, the protesting and the rioting that's going on. You know, mm-hmm. this is this is how the this is how yo this is how the scriptures is being played out. That's right. You know, like you said, man, right. uh, uh, blessed is he that readeth. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. and, you know what I'm saying? And, and that you know, I'm gonna grab yeah, that. Grab real it, quick, bro. bro. Come on, come on. I'm gonna grab that. Real mm-hmm. quick. Uh, bear with me. Mm-hmm. Revelation, um, Revelation one and three, and it says, "Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand." Look at that. The Look t- at that. Con. The time is at hand, and you know, so it's showing you that this prophecy is being fulfilled now. You know, and you're supposed to be on your watchtower, or you oh, you're supposed to be taking heed to the prophets. This is how you gonna know, man, because the Lord said He'll do nothing but reveal it to secrets unto the servant, the prophet. And um, if you real quick, it hit me um, Habakkuk chapter two, verse three. That's why I got you. Bro. You know, because this is what we're talking about: the 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 the, the spirit, the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And this is how we go about the, the measuring things to know that okay, now now we now we're hearing the uproars of the people. You know, we're hearing rumors of wars. We're seeing the earth. Quakes and stuff. So these are signs that you know that the Lord was telling his um disciples. He was telling them, yeah, because they went and asked him, inquired him, when shall be the the, the the sign of his coming and the end of the world? And you gotta ask yourself, whose world? Esau, Esau, Edom's world, man, because he's in power. And the scripture tells you in what Second Ezra that Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Right. When you read Ecclesiastes 1 and 4, it tells you that one generation passes and the next one cometh, mm-hmm. but the earth abideth forever. Mm-hmm. So it's showing that we're looking for that new earth and new heaven where righteousness dwell, where the law, statute, and commandments of Yahweh by Shimon Shai is going to reign supreme on earth. Right. You know? Uh, but go ahead. Mm-hmm. Habakkuk 2 and 3 it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Mm-hmm. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Right. right, it surely come, it will not tarry, and it's not tarrying because what? It's happening. That's right. You know, before two years, three years, f- five years ago, you could have said like, "Yo, it was going on," you know, we're not. But the Lord told us to be patient, man, mm-hmm. because it, it, it feel like it's tarrying, it feel like it's delaying. But the Lord said, "Woe unto you that lost patience," because now you're starting to see these things come to pass. Huh. Go ahead. Remember that analogy we had talked about about the roller coaster when it's going up, it, mm-hmm. it takes its time, time. going up. But once it hits the peak and it goes down, it happens. Everything just happens fast. Right. And that's the same thing that with the scripture. Basically, you can apply it to the scripture, which says, uh, uh, "Although it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come." So now that it's going to that point where it's, it, everything was building up slowly but right. surely, now all of a sudden we here. Now we're at the peak. Like right. you said, it's the beginning of sorrow. Right. So it's still more to come. And guess what? With more happening, it's mm-hmm. gonna it's gonna be even more harsh, and it's gonna come more even faster right. because the Lord has to prove His point. That's he, right. Yo, it's right. the it's the will of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, right. and, and His point will be proven. That's right. right. And and we're, we're in tune with that. We see how the things are gonna be played out. That's we right. see how 
the martial law is going to be declared. We see how the RFID microchip is going to be implemented, man. Which is already, which is already out. You which know, is already right. Pushing. Oh, no, uh, you know what I'm saying? They're trying mm-hmm. to issue it more and more, but it's already here. It's here already. Huh, right. Man. You know, so now they're going to look for a false flag or they're going to use this opportunity that they have to to, to, to declare it. Because uh, honestly, America don't need nothing to happen on the soil for it to declare martial law. Right. If something could happen in another country and America could just declare martial law on its soil. The government shut down. The military comes in. You know they set up checkpoints, and they gonna mandate the chip, man. Because right. we know that that's Esau's um, 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 agenda. That's his new world agenda. Is to get the A one microchip. But it's just showing you how everything is just adding up, man. How Esau's gonna come down having great wrath and sparing none, man. He says he's gonna be like a madman going right. houses to houses, spoiling and casting those that fear the Lord. So we know that our time is coming too, man. So that's why we we pray on the Lord, man. We we, we stockpile on this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding because that's what's going to be the stability of our time that's and right. strength of salvation. That's right. mm-hmm. right. So that, mm-hmm. I'll let you know, you know, that with, with these things taking place on earth, you know that the scripture says that uh, his words is faithful and true. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and with his words being faithful and true, it will come to pass. His, that's right. With the proof being right in front of you, the proof being the video that we just played. You know, of all right. these protests. And guess what? They, these, these, it's going to be more countries. It's going to be more people. It's going to be more everything uh, 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 building up. It's going to be more protests. You right. know, it's going to be more, uh, uh, you know, governments, you know, people getting chased out of the, you know what I'm saying? However it is. But right. it's going to be more. It's going to take place, man, because right. these things is going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be on a, a grand scale. Right. On, a go, on a global scale. What, what what I, say? Go ahead. Yeah. You say it's going to be like a time like never before. Like never before. And never before, because you, you know, usually when something happened, it's always what when Israel w- was under in slavery w- within the other nations. But this is Lord is come. That's why he said, "Man, uh, you get that in, in Revelation um, uh, three and ten, man." Gotcha. But Baba Kasha, brother, uh, uh, you know. So you know, and it's showing you that this is why we need the Lord. You know, this is what Ezra saw, man. And Ezra was like, woe is me, woe is me. Who shall deliver me from those days, man? Huh. You know? This is Revelation 3. You said, what is it? 3, um, three and 10. 3 and 10? Mm-hmm. No, Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the words of my patience, mm-hmm. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which mm-hmm. shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Right. And this is talking about um, uh, several events, man. It's not talking about just about the RFID microchip, which that's primarily, but it's talking about all these events taking place. Man, and he says to try them. What? Try, it says uh, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Upon the earth, man, right? Yeah, to try on. them that dwell. Matter of fact, go up. Which which shall come? It says, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Uh, which, says, because thou hast kept the words of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Jacob's trouble, which uh-huh. shall come upon all the world. You see that? All the world. It didn't just say in America. It didn't be specific and, and exclude anyone, any nation out, or all. You know what I'm saying? He said, all the world. And this is why we're seeing this turmoil and the chaos and the protests and the riots that's going through, that's erupting through these countries, man. Uh-huh. You know, because the Lord's words are faithful and true. His words will not go out void. And, and you got to stand something. The Lord declared everything from the beginning. He declared the end from the beginning. So we are blessed to, uh, to, to obtain the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, to be in the spirit and to know these things. You know what I'm saying? And and, and and you got more on it or? Oh uh, no, nah, that was it. That was it. I got another precept. Mm-hmm. I want to jump down. To, uh, this is Matthew twenty four and twelve. And because iniquity iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. All right, and and, and that's what you're seeing. You that's know, right. the love of many shall wax cold, and and like you said, going back into the precepts, was saying people invading one another. You know, uh, uh, going in, breaking into people's houses. Go, it's in uh, Second Ezra, the fifteen chapter. Mm-hmm. You know, so these things. That's what it says. It, it's mm-hmm. gonna. It's gonna. And it's which is taking place. People, people are getting more harsh. You're seeing more mass shootings. You're seeing all these things happening. All right. That's right. Um, um, we go. go ahead. It says, mm-hmm. But he, he that endure, he's like it, But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Mm-hmm. Right. We'll continue. continue. On and, says, mm-hmm. and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So why is all these things happening? It's because it's the truth is, is, is being declared unto the world. That's right. All the nations. That's right. So, because it has to be pushed out there. That's how you know that the the, 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 the the you know that's how you know the end is near. Because right. In order for in order for the end to come, this word has to be pushed, pushed on, the, on 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 uh, across the four corners of the earth. That's you right. Know, on a high scale. Right. You know. 
Right. So you you have you you have uh, uh, received the warning. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You had to receive the judgment. And as well, what, what, what the Lord said in Revelation 7 and 4. He told the angels to hold back the winds, right? Mm -hmm. From right. coming until what? Until the elect is sealed, man. Mm -hmm. So that's showing. What, 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 if we're measuring the time, to me, this is sound like we're, we're in the 11th hour, man. That's right. You know? The time of destruction, man. When all hell's breaking loose, man. And, and, and showing, and, and brothers' pages are getting clipped. You know what I'm saying? Uh, brothers' pages are getting uh, put down, and Esau stri uh, flagging and striking people, brothers' pages, that's right. which that's a sign of what? The famine of the, famine words, the words. You know what I'm saying? So it's showing you, man, we're entering that time. We're entering that time where the, the YouTube is going to be no longer allowed. The Internet is going to be shut down. Mm -hmm. And what you have based off of what you what you have done for the Lord and, and stop, I mean, uh, uh, teaching and learning and um, applying these things, not just being hearer, but doers of the words, building, the, up your faith, building your, your faith, you know, and, and this is how you, you, you're going to maintain and, and, and be stable in that time, you know, right. huh. mm -hmm. and I'm just going to finish off, bro. Okay, bro. Um, because you said because uh, iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, is because of this because for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the house shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid, and, and man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, mm -hmm. but shall destroy their house with with the sword and spoil their goods, and because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. That's right, it's like you know? the lack of bread, which is a famine. But he's going back into saying great tribulation, a time like never before. Man, huh? it's gonna be it's gonna be chaos on these streets, man. In the streets of America, or in the streets of uh, 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 um, across the seas, you know, overseas, London, uh, um, Japan, wherever, wherever, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be chaos everywhere. Right. Because it's, it's mm -hmm. gonna come upon the whole uh, um, the whole world, you know. So these things are gonna take place, but primarily here because once we once said it before, this is the hammer of the earth, right? Mm -hmm. It's spo supposedly is called considered called the hammer of the um the earth. So it's gonna it's gonna be worse here because you know uh, America was set up on this pedestal. It's, it's high, and it says uh, um, it says the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Mm -hmm. So that's the same thing that's gonna apply here. You know, so, but yeah, this is what's gonna take place in the streets, man. People killing one another, uh, uh, invading the houses because of lack of bread and because of great tribulation. Mm -hmm. right, hey, on. if it's wicked is in power, man. That's right. You know the people is a people are mourning, man. No one is in, in joy and relief and, and happiness. You know, but we know through prophecy, as the Lord said, that Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Right. You know, and the tabernacle of David being built. And and this is this is what we're waiting for. This is how we we, we uh, measure the time through prophecy. And that's what the Lord said, man. Um, the, the sign be, be, before he's going to come. These are the signs that we shall we, we shall see. I mean, we should we should know and we shall see come to pass. That's right. And, you know, then he shall come with a mighty angel to save the elect, man. Mm -hmm. And the remnant, you know, the one third part of the 144,000 mm -hmm. and destroy two thirds and, and, and the other nations, man. Right. This mm -hmm. is their judgment. That's and, right. you know, and th with that, we know we hope it was edifying and we want to give all praises and glory and honor onto Yahweh by Shem Yahusha by Shem Rakakadash. Want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for ruling well and teaching us this truth. And want to give peace and citations to you all, Yemen, the highways and byways, doing this work sincerely and faithfully. And with that, we want to say Shalom. Shalom. Kwame Asharala. Kwame Asharala. Ababa Bo. Ababa Bo. Shalom. Shalom.